Middle Eastern eggplant and lamb stew. It's a ripper of a dish and I'm going to cook it in 10 minutes in the pressure cooker. We all know I love pressure cooking and this is just to show you how fast it can be done. So two large eggplant. I'm going to take the skin off because I want this to be really silky smooth. If you can't be bothered doing this step, just leave it out. But what it does is helps break down the eggplant so it almost purees. And it's okay if there's some on it. We just don't want majority on. We're gonna to top it and tail it and then cut this into four. And we'll add a good glug of extra virgin olive oil into the pressure cooker. I've already preheated the pressure cooker, so it's on the browning mode. And we'll pop the first lot of eggplant in and get some good colour on it. Don't be stingy when it comes to the olive oil for this. They're like sponges, so you need a lot of oil for it to get a good colour. So we can add one at a time. While they're searing off, I'll just prepare my next eggplant. second batch of eggplant is coming out of the pressure cooker and I'll add the meat now so just another splash of oil you don't need too much because this lamb mince is quite fatty so about a teaspoon and in with the meat you don't need much you only need 250 grams of this lamb mince because it really is all about the eggplant I'll give that a stir and a good seasoning of salt some freshly cracked pepper. And that'll just take a few moments. In the meantime, some garlic. I've got two cloves of garlic here. I'm just going to reserve half of it for a dressing. And with the rest of this garlic, we'll just roughly chop it. Nothing too fancy. Just run your knife through it a few times. And that can go in with our lamb. And the spices some cumin seeds, coriander seeds. I'm just going to crush the coriander seeds in a mortar and pestle just to release some more flavour. A light crushing, just like that. Pop that in. Oh, it smells good. And for the colour, some turmeric. So a teaspoon of ground turmeric can go in. Mm, looking good. We'll stir that through. Post off those spices, then in with half a can of crushed tomatoes, about a tablespoon of sugar, some pine nuts now. I'll add half of these pine nuts now and the rest is for a garnish and we'll return our eggplant. So we'll just place that in. So they're still quite firm at this stage, but 10 minutes of cooking they're going to be incredibly silky. And just one last stir so that eggplant is coated in that yummy lamb sauce. That's it. Lid goes on, lock it and pressure cook for 10 minutes. Now, while that's cooking, a quick herby salsa. So that reserved garlic that we had, we're just going to pop that into a mortar and pestle, pinch of salt and just bruise that and two varieties of herbs. I love the combination of parsley, so we'll just tear that in, and a few sprigs of mint. And I'll just leave a few for the garnish later on. The smell of mint and parsley, so good with eggplant. So I'm just gonna bruise this and then add about two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil at the end, and that salsa is ready. Plant stew is ready. We'll unlock and oh, that smells so good. So, to plate this up, get a shallow platter and we'll just scoop this silky, luxurious eggplant and lamb onto the plate, spread it out. 
If you wanted to, you could serve this with some couscous, some buttered rice, but I'm going to serve it almost as a hearty dip. So just serving it with bread. We'll pop that down. And there's two types of sauces we're adding to this. This green vibrant salsa with the mint and the parsley and tahini. I love tahini with this because it's going to give it a creamy element. It's a bit thick, so just some water in with the tahini. Start with a splash and incorporate it. And if you want to give it a slight zing, just a hint of lemon. Cut that in half, squeeze that in. Give it a really good stir. It'll look slightly pasty, but just stick with it and add some more water until it really starts to loosen up and becomes the consistency of thickened cream. Pretty happy with that. Okay, let's drizzle this over our eggplant. Not too much. Oh, love the contrast there. And a yummy green sauce, mix that oil through and we'll just dollop that over the top. It's like a building block. We're building the flavours each time we add something. And some pine nuts, the ones that we reserved for that crunch on the top. And we might as well add this. I did pick some fresh mint and parsley that we had left over that can just be scattered over the top to serve. Lebanese bread, I'm going to break that in half. Just tear it, pop that on the side. That is a yummy dish and it cooks in 10 minutes in the pressure cooker. That's why I love pressure cooking.